Alright YouTube, we were back. We finished all the carving that we're gonna do on him. Uh, we finished up the little bell tassel things over the flares on the ankles, the wrists, and even did the braided kind of rope look on the belt. It's a little hard to pick up on camera, but we'll be able to see it a lot better when we start painting. And that's the step we're at. We're getting ready to start painting. Finally excited for that. So let's go ahead and just dive into it. I think the best thing to start with is we're going to do all the parts that we need to that are in white. So the face, the gloves on the hands, and then we can mix up the gray for the body. And then there's some red here and there. But let's go ahead and start with the face. A good size brush. Lightly wet. And remember, we're trying to keep this somewhat thin so that it doesn't get all shiny on us. Now, I put some notches in his forehead and stuff to try and give it that cracked paint look. So, we'll accentuate those with a little bit of black. Like, maybe not black, we'll probably do it with gray. Because black, uh, even if we watered it down, is still going to show through pretty pretty strong but I'm excited that we're finally at the painting stage this guy was was a uh, he's one of the tougher ones I've done and I think he's got probably the most detail next to um, right next to the Night King we ought a lot of detail on him as well but I think I think Pennywise might beat him as far as total. I'm trying to make sure we have a wide shot here so that the camera angle is good. Like I said, I watched some of the clips and there were some there were some bad uh, camera angles which I, I hate doing to you guys. So I'm trying to be a lot more mindful. so it spreads better. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have put any paint on the tip of the nose yet. So it's going to be red, but I will. And the dog made his cameo for the evening. He knows I'm over here doing something and he wants to bark. Maybe on our final clip, when I get all of our three Halloween Spectacular carvings side by side, maybe I'll put a cameo of the dog in so y'all can finally see the little menace that always wants to hoot and holler. Keep a constant idea of where the camera is. I can't say even though there's fewer clips so far than any other carving video we've done, there there's some quite some long clips. I hope we get by with them. Like I said, if it stay in that 15 minute window. I was able to get by with a few before that were about 16, 17, 18 minutes, but if it gets in a 20 minute zone, it won't let me upload them. Which, if anybody knows why or how I can run longer, please let me know. But if nobody's let me know so far, I'm not holding my breath for it. 
but please enjoy the videos. Alright. Some of the rough spots that we couldn't really sand very well. I'm going to hit a little heavier with the paint. Yeah, I just haven't been able to figure out how to actually get down in these crevices where we worked on the nose. It's just really hard to get down in there to sand it smooth, so the, all the carvings are usually pretty rough in there. Alright, and get the smaller brush for his teeth. Even though we're going to put red on it, we'll probably bump it. You know, I was watching a um, fan theory video about this new Pennywise and why he looks the way he looks. And their their theory was the reason he's like that is because the movie directors and everything were trying to give him more of a like a an alien type look, like he's he's imitating a clown. He's not exactly as a clown should look which is a neat theory because that works a little bit better because he does look a little off, a little odd. All right. Let's go into our gloves so they dry. Make sure angles are good. If y'all ever notice when I'm painting how sometimes the brush strokes aren't very uh, painterly, we'll call it, is because I usually try and paint a lot faster when I'm doing clips for you guys than if I wasn't filming. Hey, these, uh, these carvings helped me get in the, the spirit of Halloween this year. I was having a hard time getting in the mood for it. And these carvings really helped me get in the, the spirit. And then doing a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns. Finally getting the vibe. Been watching a lot of uh, Halloween type movies all year. I still couldn't get in the spirit until we started really, really hitting these pretty hard. Mm -hmm. What do you? Alright. And I am doing the paint on the gloves a little heavier than I normally would because I just want to have a, uh, a contrast, a, a break between that in the body so you can tell they're gloves, they're not just white hands. And like I said, I tried to video as much as I could for you guys without it being too redundant. As far as covering things he'd already covered with the last clown. Which we shouldn't have that problem at all with um, our final Pennywise because it's drastically so different. He's got some ruffles on his neck, but for the most part, it's completely different. Like it's a typical clown costume that you'd see, like probably when I was growing up. Even though it's set in the 50s, I didn't grow up in the 50s, but... Alright. Cover up these blue marks, even though we're going to paint those red later. And his face nice and white. Alright, what well, we're going to use... I forgot to put some of that in there. We're going to use a crimson red 
for any of the red spots on him. So, the little streaks on his face are going to be crimson. And they actually carry over into the mouth, so it's going to be a little difficult. The mouth is more of a crimson. The little fuzzy ball things, they're crimson. All the little tassels are crimson. Instead of your just standard bright, bright red. Just trying to keep that in mind. We got to be careful we don't get our paint too watery for it. Make sure our camera angles are good. Because we get it too watery, it's going to bleed over into the white. I feel like I'm applying lipstick to him. Here comes the hard part. You gotta do a small, thin line across the top to have that thin lip look at the top. Yeah, I think that turned out pretty good. Nice. White, you know, some white came off. So gotta give the face a little bit more time there. Maybe if we do a little heavier. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's still a little too wet, dang it. So in that case, we'll give the face a little bit more time. And we will do those little fuzzy bits on the chest real quick. And then we're going to have to mix up the gray. Sorry about all the ruckus in the background. Dogs are fighting over a bone. Not really fighting, they're play fighting, but very noisy. Very noisy. So I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but if it is, my apologies. Alright, you can go away, Pennywise. beans there man. Hey you know what matter of fact we might uh the little notches in the belt we might do those real quick too because it's these little notches we put in that are red and then the rest of it is that gray that's what I meant by this one I think has the most details and it has the most fine details. Like I said, the Night King was a close contender. A lot of his was the same stuff over a large area where this one is a lot of almost kind of different details over a lot of different areas. Make sure our camera angles are good. Do not want to have some bad angles on this since we're getting down to the finishing stages. Uh, dogs are under my feet.
Alright, now let's go ahead and do the little fuzzy balls on the shoes. Now the shoes are going to be a little tough to paint. Well, not tough, but they're going to be somewhat difficult because of the pattern. He's got this, it's not exactly checkerboard, but it's the colors, the white and black. But it's more like a triangles instead of squares. So as far as getting into the tight areas we need to get into, that's what make make it difficult. Like I said, I always like getting to this point, finally seeing color go on it. After staring at the very pale wood for so long. face will be dry enough by then so that we can finish putting those little red marks on his face. I'm so glad I have a fine detail brush here. That take extra care though when we put the gray in. If you get a little bit on it, that's fine, but we don't want to wash it out completely. ready for the face. Let me see if I can't get closer for you guys. Make sure if face is in there. Nostrils. I gotta be careful. I don't mess up my camera angles, guys. We're going to some fine detail area. I'm do the underside as well. Y'all see that? It's starting to really look like what he's supposed to look like now, guys. His lips gonna get a little darker. All 
right people I'm gonna go ahead and cut us off right now so we don't have to worry about time while I mix up the gray and then we'll be back to do the rest